All eyes on Pacquiao to see if he's ready for the fight or if he has been diminished. Eight. Emmanuel, yeah. don't you think that Freddie's dialogue about winning every round is a win and they have to stop the fight? No, I think Freddie really believes that. He said that uh, he would... And their jabs, or at least that's the conventional wisdom. Bradley with a body shot under Pacquiao. Watch the difficulty to see. Yeah, every time he throws it, he's going to be out of position about that, and he's kind of punching him. Pacquiao's so dangerous in exchanges, even when the other guy seems to have the upper hand, he can put you on your butt in an eye blink. And at the moment, Bradley... Hard left hand by Pacquiao down the pipe. Best punch of the round so far. Gets another straight left hand onto Bradley's jaw. Two big pops for Pacquiao. And the best punches of the fight. He's won the round just off of another that. another straight left hand. I told you to watch for the straight left hand. He landed three booms in the last 30 seconds. And he won. Here we see Manny land the straight left hand. Bradley didn't get back far enough. He was pulling out of range. Here he comes again. The same almost identical punch. The same way. Just won the round for Pacquiao. They may have. Another and hard left hand by Pacquiao. And, and that's maybe Pacquiao's best punch. There it is again. Body shots by Bradley. Pacquiao blocks the upstairs stuff. Bradley goes back downstairs down. and hammers Let's to the rib cage. But there over and over. And you're seeing the metal Stop. that got Stop. Bradley to this point when he gets hit and hurt. As a bird and catch it, and he held on to his head a long time. Indeed. Bradley was holding and hitting. There's another good left hand by Pacquiao. This time he swept it to get it around Bradley's guard. Again, straight left. I haven't seen Bradley try to retaliate from straight right. There it is. And he lands one. As he cuts, Bradley still has not demonstrated that he can stop Manny Pacquiao's straight left hand. Straight right hand. He was concentrating on taking the left hand away from Pacquiao. It, it, Bradley's trying to neutralize it, but as many Pacquiao opponents find, there's really no way, way to prepare for his suddenness and his speed. The way that man is punches there. See that, the little fast punches, but no power. Right hand landed for Pacquiao that time. Bradley gets him back with a left hook. Pacquiao gets him with a straight left. And the way Bradley put his tongue out and mugged, you know that Pacquiao is bothering him with a straight left hand. But there Pacquiao trying uppercuts with the left hand. Now comes across the top, lands it again. Gets in a little left inside. Bradley trying to go to the body, gets in a couple of shots. Right hook by, by Pacquiao. And he just good leverage when he punches in. And Bradley's trying to shorten it up and take that leverage away where he don't have such a chance to warm. Sometimes get there first. Man is trying to uppercut for the last two rounds. He's trying to predict the way that Bradley's head is and trying to catch him with a left hook. A Pacquiao flurry. The right hook lands. Well, he's moving his head now to survive because he's hurt. He was badly wobbled there. Badly Bradley. hurt. Badly hurt. Another mark of the power differential in favor of Manny Pacquiao. So what does Bradley do here? He doesn't want to run to just survive. He doesn't have the firepower power to keep Manny off. Bradley's trying to fight back well, that's for a moment when it Big right hand for Bradley at the end of that round. We see an exchange right now where they both were changing punches, and as I've said, said before, Manny is very good at catching people when they're in exchange room because he punches and pivots back and forth very well. <laughs> Nothing is landing clean except for that punch there. And it still didn't seem like it had that much of an effect, but I don't know whether Bradley hurt his twist of his ankle. Boom, another left hand. And the left hand moves Bradley halfway across the ring. And Pacquiao drives him into the ropes. A real credible opponent, and he's outclassing him. Manny Pacquiao loves this kind of fight. This is exactly what Bradley he does to it. Bradley just doesn't have the power. But Bradley here you see a tremendous left for Manny Pacquiao. It seems as if he just physically overpowered Bradley at this stage right now. And it's just a matter of time because Bradley has not been able to get any respect from Manny with any power. 47 pounds. Pacquiao at age 28 was fighting. Having a pretty good round this round. So far. 
Yes, but there's a minute to go. And this is what happens in the last minute, yeah, yeah. at least up to this point. Gets Bradley against the ropes and hits him three times with the left hand. Absolutely right. Oh, good left uppercut good on left the inside uppercut. from Pacquiao. Great left uppercut. Just speaks at the age of 33, incidentally. Again, Bradley choosing one of the biggest assets he had coming into the fight. It was very persuasive for a lot of people this week. Was his powerful self-belief and self-confidence. Where do you suppose at last month's pay-per-view card? Somebody said something disparaging about Pacquiao, and Richardson said, listen, you can knock him all you want until he touches you. When he touches you, that's when you learn how special he is. I, I mean, here's Bradley well, this still fighting as hard as he fight. can. I think what he has realized is Throughout his career, his willpower has always been landing more punches in this round. Yep, I read it wrong. Pacquiao's landing more punches. Manny can take the first half of the round off for the first two minutes not sustain too much damage, and then just take over and fight for a minute at the end. Pacquiao got him a solid right hook, and now there's the straight left right again. Left. Bradley landed a right hand. He thinks for the moment he might have bothered Pacquiao. Pacquiao has a smile on his face. Perhaps indeed Bradley heard him. But now Pacquiao drives him down in a while, but Bradley did almost nothing to take advantage of it. Here's Harold Letterman's card, which is now 80 to 72, as even while seeming to take the last round off. There you go. That's the fight right there. That left hand landed flush. Another straight left hand between the guard by Pacquiao. Two more punches landing on the inside. Stop, I got stop. Stop. Guys are blocking very well, yep. except when they're in those wild exchanges. Yep. But other than that, both guys are doing very good on defense. Yep. The difference is when Pacquiao gets one through the guard, it's the power. It does damage. That's exactly right. It's the power. Badly undefeated in its prime. Catch a guy just at the right time fight as hard as he can, and it's just not good enough. And lose every round, which by my eyes is the case so far. Bradley, you gotta give him credit. He takes a heck of a punch, but even still, Manny Pacquiao nailing him with too many left hands. Nine to nothing. Line supposedly is he's compromised by his right foot. Pattern throughout the fight. Good left hook by Bradley. Straight left hand for Pacquiao. We thought he'd implement from the beginning, which is trying to counter Pacquiao. This would clearly appear to be Bradley's best round. Pacquiao's trying to come on now at the end, land oh, one more guys. big shot, maybe clean it. Yeah. On the back. Right hook by Pacquiao. Left hand by Pacquiao. Touch up. All right, let's go. Bradley primed for the moment, throwing the hardest shots he can and not hurting Pacquiao with them. Exactly. 
but you can't grow power over. Just a tremendous performance against the game in his prime. Young champion, determined to win, never stopped trying, but outclassed. Well, I guess Bradley's corner men feel as though they might not be at this level again, so they want to pick their fighter up and carry him around. <laughs> Michael Buffer is standing by with the official results. Let's go to him right now. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the MGM Grand, we go to the scorecards. Jerry Roth scores about 115-113 for Pacquiao. CJ Roth scores it 115-113 for Bradley. And Dwayne Ford scores it 115-113. To the winner by split decision. And new WBO welterweight champion of the world, the Desert Storm, Timothy Bradley. Well, I'll tell you, I don't think we're blind. I think Harold Letterman is the best scorer alive. And I think that is a terrible, bogus decision.